Have you ever gotten the feeling that someone you were friends with or even dating had a hidden agenda? Or quite simply, they couldn't care less about your thoughts and opinions? We understand it can be quite difficult to distinguish whether a person's intentions are genuine and if they're being real with you or not. Hi viewers, and welcome back to Bestie. Sometimes people can approach you being all sweet, but it's only because they have ulterior motives. So how can you differentiate between the ones who are genuinely nice and the ones who are fake? Keep watching today's video where we'll tell you the signs that can help you identify a non-authentic person. From loving to gossip, being intense people pleasers, not listening to you, having a hostile sense of humor, to being passive aggressive and more. Watch till the end to learn about all of them. Number 1. They are intense people pleasers. You'll notice that a fake person is a people pleaser, offering over the top compliments to ingratiate themselves to you. They'll ask you lots of questions, but generate few definitive answers of their own. That's because they're reluctant to state a decisive point of view, especially one that might conflict with yours. Such people endeavor to be all things to all people. They're over eager to make others like them. They want to know what you think first, and then they agree with your perspective. However, when a person is afraid to commit to a belief system, that simply makes them disingenuine. You shouldn't trust those who waver on their core values. You may not have noticed it, however, because they may have manipulated you into doing a lot of the initial talking. Do you consider yourself to be a people pleaser? Or would you rather be real and get in uncomfortable situations? Tell us your views in the comment section below. Number two, they love to gossip. It's not enough for someone fake to build themselves up. They have to engage in character assassination when their targets aren't available to defend themselves. They point out others' personal flaws, spread gossip that may or may not be true. They also add to interpersonal drama by keeping negative information and complaints actively churning. Some people may share stories in which they star as the victim and an evil other commonly stars as the villain. Remember though, if someone will gossip with you, they will definitely gossip about you. It's possible that one day you may be that evil other in their retold humor. Number 3. They're manipulative and judgmental. Inauthentic people can be highly judgmental of others, often as a way of gaining control. They will completely try to gain the upper hand or win the validation of others by manipulating those around them. But at the same time, they're unlikely to address any problems head on. Instead, they're looking for ways to make themselves appear more important. Their energy is focused on building themselves up and tearing others down. If they feel threatened or ignored, they'll do whatever it takes to move the spotlight back on themselves or deflect any negative outcomes they might encounter. Number 4. They have unrealistic perceptions This is one of the biggest reasons why fake people are so toxic. They're often wrapped up in materialism because, in their world, the stuff that fills their life is the true reflection of how successful they are. They're usually more interested in collecting things they can brag about than working to develop lasting and meaningful relationships. Having a deep connection of friendship with others would require that they're also in touch with their thoughts and feelings. Because they keep things at surface level, they also have a limited view of the world. They focus on money, wealth, and what others can do for them. Because they see things through this distorted lens, they make decisions and build their life based on flawed perceptions. Number 5. They'll disappear when you need them the most Ever really needed someone just for a chat but it feels like they don't really want to be there? You could be having a really hard time and just need someone to make you feel better and most of the time you go to your friends. Normally, the ones that care about you a lot will stick by you and listen to what you have to say, but some will often disappear at the first sign of you needing help. This is often a sign that they're fake. Because normally, if you need help or someone to talk to, they'll offer a helping hand rather than walk away when you need them the most. Genuine people look out for each other. They don't turn their backs on the other when things get tough. Number 6. They try to appear as if they're always happy. The main sign of a fake person is someone who never shows that they feel upset or angry. Such people hate real emotions because they get in the way of the one-dimensional facade they work so hard to project. Deep down, they are more insecure than you would ever believe. And maybe somewhere along the way they've learned that they'll be appreciated if they act happy. They have emotions like anyone else, but they're control freaks and fear that showing their real feelings would make them vulnerable. They're scared that things could spiral out of control if they start to acknowledge how they really think and what they really feel. There are certain countries in the world where you don't have to pretend to be happy because, guess what? You'll be happy for real! To know what these countries are, watch this video titled 10 Happy Countries That Will Have You Living Your Best Life. Now back to signs someone is being fake. Number 7. They constantly contradict themselves without even knowing it. 
Fake people can be very confusing. In one moment, they'll say how much they love to volunteer, and then a few weeks later, you can hear them saying they haven't volunteered in years. They may say they love sports to one person, even though they might not have hit the gym or played a sport in ages. The point is that these individuals say something because they want to project that image even though they make no attempt to match their words with their behavior. With fake people, it's like you need to carry a clipboard around with you just to keep track of what they say, just so that you can make sense of the constant contradictions. Number 8. They won't listen to you one major sign of a fake person is that they're extremely egocentric. Everything is always about them. Do you ever feel like they don't listen? Do they just go on their phone while you're talking or try and change the subject so that it's more focused on them? Then this could be a sign that they have no interest in what you're saying, how you feel, or what you have going on. They just don't want to hear you talk about it. Some people will never absorb what you said in the first place, so they have no way of remembering anything you chat about. More importantly, they just don't care, so they'll rarely ever mention anything you said in the past. A genuine person will listen to what you say, even perhaps make notes of your favorite things. Fake people don't really have an interest in your problems, and will often fake a smile to make it seem like they care. Number 9. They will only respect those with power. If the person you're with treats every ice cream vendor, taxi driver, and all those people who are not at such powerful positions with respect, that person is genuine. They like to be warm to everyone around them, no matter what kind of position they have in society. Whereas the fake ones will be highly polite to those in power so they can have help when they ask for it, or to get access to certain opportunities they otherwise wouldn't have. Number 10. They have a hostile sense of humor. Under that fake smile, an inauthentic person is storing up resentment and anger to those around them. They see the world through a cynical lens because they don't trust anyone. Their default is set to sarcasm, and they use mockery as a way of bolstering their self-esteem. They find it easier to put others down through a harsh quip or a sarcastic wisecrack rather than employ self-deprecating humor. This hostile sense of humor may make them seem clever or shrewd, but in reality, it's masking their insecurity and anxiety. The zingers and one-liners thrown by an inauthentic person are really a diversion. They don't want anyone to look too closely at their own flaws. Number 11. They brag a lot about themselves. Genuine people don't feel the need to brag. If they're good at something, they are. Simple as that. Whatever they receive as a reward for being good at something comes as a response to what they've tried hard to achieve. Fake people will brag as much as they can for things they've managed to do and things they haven't. If they haven't succeeded much at anything, then they'll invent a success they've heard of. They'll then compare it to what they've presented about themselves so far and brag that they have done it. Number 12. They're passive-aggressive. Fake people are really good at speaking in a passive-aggressive way. They'll always find ways to insult you with a compliment. They may even ask you backhanded questions so that they can line themselves up to ridicule you. They will ask where you got an item and then follow it up with a comment that makes you feel like crap. They slowly reduce your self-confidence, and you may not even realize that it's happening. Do you have fake people in your life who you thought were genuine? Let us know in the comments section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie! Wait! What kind of Bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video, and enjoy!